Hey everyone, in this video we're going to take a brief look at some of the recent changes to the Sketch Tool in 3D Coat. Now previously you were able to bring in black and white images to help formulate an object based on uh, either two or three axes. Okay, and I'll demonstrate that now. I'm going to go ahead bring in a reference image for the x-axis. z-axis and the y-axis. Okay. Now if you don't have a reference image or if you want to add this later you can always go in okay, to uh, an orthographic view like the E panel under the ellipse tool We'll try to create some wheels, or at least a basis for wheels anyway. Try to guesstimate the center point and drag out holding the shift key, much like you would in Photoshop. Okay, I'm going to undo and turn off symmetry. As you can see, that would work if, if that's what we wanted. Try this again. A little bit. Okay, close enough. All right, so you get the idea. And uh, in this case, the reference image is added. So this was an additive uh, type of operation. If I hit reset, the default will actually put you in a subtractive mode because what happens is you've got a volume like this and uh, 3D Code is asking you to trim away or cut away and you can do it with regular brushes if you like. So I'm going to hold the control key, adjust my scale and you can use really um, rough brushes if you need. Um, let's try something else. So yeah, you can have a lot of fun with this. Um, I'm going to reset the sketch tool. And if you want to start from a, a clean slate without actually any volume and work in an additive mode, uh, you can click current on each of the axes. Clear current, I should say. And you can see it's clearing the white space. All right. So let's go back. And so if you wanted to create a rock or number of rocks uh, for your scene to populate, just use a free form if you like. Okay, and you can adjust the smoothing as well, the smoothing degree. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of resolution before we apply this. So I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. And now I can use it as a basis to go ahead and start sculpting. Okay. Go up to the bottom, smooth all if I want. It has quite a bit of uh, resolution, so I better leave it. Um, but yeah, you can go in with some really craggy brushes. Just to fall up. Yeah, 
yeah, just use it as, a, again, like I said, as a, a good basis to start from. Okay, so this should conclude this demonstration of the new features in uh, the Sketch Tool. Have fun with it, and thank you for watching.